the bread boys are here on Epic Homesteading. <laughs> Jacques is joining me for today's video. We yeah. grew some wheat here at the homestead, about 250 grams. We topped it up with a little more wheat because we want Looks we good. want enough for one loaf. Yeah. You've been baking a little bit yourself. Yes. I uh, picked up a little bit of the sourdough bug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. He's got a fat, he's got a deep infection <laughs> with the sourdough bug. And so today we are going to mix some of our homegrown wheat with a little bit more, like I said, to top it off. And we're going to try to make the very first half homegrown sourdough loaf. Yeah. And uh, to do that, we're going to use this guy here. Yeah. Which is a, a new pickup that I got. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Let's, uh, What's the process here? Basically, it's like there's a hopper here. Yeah. You put all your grains in there, and then there's like a few adjustment settings. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if I'm touching the right one, <laughs> that's the feed rate. So yeah. how much is actually getting into pushing the mill. through the system? And then this one up here is like the coarseness. Okay. So what we're gonna want is it to go in kind of slow so it doesn't like cake okay. up, and then we're gonna want it to be really fine. Yeah, and it's super dry. Yeah. It's pro perfectly dry. We dried all our homegrown stuff, and the stuff we added is also dry as well. Yep. And this is a hard uh, red winter wheat. Yeah, and variety. that's going to nicely contrast the spring wheat. Yeah. So there's like a little mix there. Yeah. They have different baking qualities, but mm -hmm. I'm not an expert. So. No, actually, both of these. <laughs> oh, no, you're right. We had Bowles OG yeah. for the spring, right. and then we have the hard red winter. Yep. So someone who is very good at baking is probably either saying, oh, it's fine, or like, that's a terrible <laughs> idea. But that's why it's an experiment here in the homestead, this first loaf. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, let's see. All right, I have the wheat. Jacques, you're going to turn it on. OK. Get ready for the sound. Oh, oh man. <laughs> so we just drizzle it in? Yep. Sounds good. Get to work. <laughs> All right, the noise has died down. It's time for the grand reveal. <laughs> that's good. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Damn. Hey. That's flour. That. That's a lot of flour, actually. And actually, since it's whole wheat, yeah. Like, I mean, it's literally whole wheat because it's yeah. a whole berry. You can see that brown stuff is like the uh, yeah, bran. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. So that's like all the fiber and nutrients. Dust. So it looks good, honestly. We're about to, yeah. <laughs> it's a little light, nice and warm. Yeah. Okay, let's taste test it. Taste test? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is a smart idea, but <laughs> you know, you home grow it, you want to taste it for the vibes. So let's just go, oh, you're going to do it that I'm gonna way. I'm going to do it like that. And then I'm going to do raw, do like, like a... straight in. Ready? Oh, okay. This is what I'm going to do. <laughs> honestly, it's pretty good. It kind of tastes like bread. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like if you added some, like, milk or something. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't this taste like, what, what's that cereal weird thing that came in the cylinder? Oh, it's like, isn't that like wheat bran? It's like wheat, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think we just invented gruel. I think we just invented gruel. Honestly, but <laughs> it's, here's the thing. Oh my God. If you're gonna don't eat breathe. that, don't breathe at all. Cause I just had a little <laughs> inhalation experiment. Okay, well, let's see, let's see a volume test. We're definitely gonna have an expansion. Honestly, dude, this came out pretty It dang. actually does look good. It looks fantastic. I was a little concerned. It looks fantastic. Okay, yeah, so we have a volume issue. That's just, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> looks like we probably doubled, almost doubled almost volume. Almost doubled volume. Okay, that's step one, my friends. We have grown, supplemented a little bit, and processed this into actual wheat. We're gonna probably end up in Kev's kitchen in a second. <laughs> We're inside the Epic Kitchen, Kev's kitchen. Kev's kitchen. And this is two bros. <laughs> baking bread. And actually, I've never baked it, like I've mentioned, so. And I've never, I've never made it from fresh flour, okay. so I have no idea if this is gonna be different. We're both flying. You're flying a little less blind, maybe one eye blind. Yeah. I'm full blindfolded. Yep. What do I have to do first? Um, so first, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get a bowl, or we could use the mixing bowl. So I brought a stand mixer because I personally hate kneading. <laughs> so the stand mixer is the, kitchen uh, aid. the way to go for yeah. me. Yeah, okay. So what we're gonna do is, I guess we'll start. Ooh, Ooh, that cloud, oh. that cloud. Better not get that in the mail. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so we just gotta measure it out gram-wise, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just rinse this out really quick. Okay. Now we're gonna measure all the different ingredients, like the ratios that we're gonna put in here. Um, so typically I do like 500 grams of flour and 500 grams of water. One to one. One to one. Okay. And it's easier to do it by weight because then it's guaranteed. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> what we're gonna start with is 500 grams of flour. So the deal is, is that this might be a different like hydration ratio. So one of the things with bread, again, <laughs> definitely not an expert. Yeah. Um, but basically uh, the amount of water you put in is gonna vary depending on the flour. So if you're using like just white flour, it's gonna take less water mm -hmm. uh, because there's a lot of bran in whole wheat like this. Yeah, you can it's see it. It's gonna absorb more. 
Um, okay, so we're, we're gonna just kind of guess on the water ratio here. All right, I'm at 501. Perfect. That's pretty good. Yep. We have a couple different ingredients here. This is really cool. So honey, but it's honey from Girl Next Door Honey, who is Hillary, who's actually almost a neighbor of mine here in San Diego. Yep. So this is her honey, some local honey. Follow her on Instagram. Follow her on Instagram. We have some salt. Is this fine? I just have some Celtic yeah, sea salt. Yeah, actually like, I don't think it really matters, but some people say you shouldn't use like iodized salt because it'll kill the yeast. Okay. But so this is this says this salt does not supply iodide. So perfect. We're good then. <laughs> and then you have something a little, little yeah, special. Yeah. This here. is the secret ingredient. This here. is the real sauce. So what Ooh. we can do is it smells. You can smell that sour. Ooh, that tank, smells right? nice. Yeah. That smells nice. So, let's give them, let's give everyone a little peek. This is the sourdough starter. So what you could see is that. Um, it's very bubbly, and what I've done is wrap a towel around it, and the reason why is extra insulation. I know people make fun of us because we're in San Diego, but <laughs> it does get cold here. So I'm gonna take the towel off, and what you could see is this red line I drew this morning with like a white board marker. And um, what you'll see is that this is how much I fed it, and so it's here now, so it's doubled. And that's what we're looking for when we start making bread. And that's since this morning. That's since this morning. Yeah. Yeah, so I've fed it, and now we're basically good to use it. Now that it's been fully fed, it's going to be hungry. So when we add it to the flour, it's gonna basically force it to rise due to all the yeast eating all the flour. There we go. All right, so Jacques has the recipe right here, his recipe at least. So we have, we need 300 grams of warm water. I have 300 milliliters, so I'm gonna add that in. Okay, so let's put in 300, warm water. We're a little over there, but that's okay. It's okay. And then we're gonna take 180 grams of your famous sourdough starter. Yeah, you could just tilt the whole jar and just and kind of scoop it just out. Just dump it in. Just so I'm trying to hit it. about 480 here. Oh, 180. 180, but 480 on the, oh, sorry. On the so, scale, yeah. Oh, that's probably good. That was too much. That was <laughs> definitely too much. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just add more flour. Or it? I can come in and scoop a bit back. Yeah, yeah, just don't put it back in the jar. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna move on to salt now after that little snafu. So Jacques likes to tear the numbers every single time. Yeah. So you don't forget. Eventually you will, and that's perfect. You okay, could well, go a little extra. I like eight grams is fine, salt. a little, little salty. And then we're gonna do 20 grams of honey in here mm -hmm. from Hillary. I'm just gonna kind of do a Yeah, so the nice thing about the honey here. is that it, it's not necessary, but it helps feed the yeast faster and it gives it a better rise. Okay. So that's kind of the goal there. So I overshot that a little bit too. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a baker, so. I'm not a baker right, yet, right. I'm not a baker yet. But that's fine because we can just add what? We probably overshot everything by about 10%, right? Yeah. So yeah. we can just add another 40-ish grams? Yeah, you grams can start with that. And then the cool thing is, is that basically as we're mixing it, we'll have a feel if, if it's too wet mm. or if it's too dry. Okay. And we'll just go from there. So that's probably good. So I just pumped in another about 40 grams to kind of overset that a little bit. Yeah. And now we're gonna mix. One thing I like to do before I put it in the mixer is actually get a spatula and sort of pre-mix it. Um, the reason why I do this is because if you just go straight into the mixer, what happens is it'll grab the top and there'll be a bunch of dry flour at the bottom that takes forever to mix in. Mm. So I like to kind of form a small ball and then once it's kind of all cohesive, we'll throw it in the mixer. Cool. All right, we have our mixture in the KitchenAid. We have a bread hook. My mom used to make bread, so I definitely realize what that is, but what do I do now? So you turn that and that's gonna lift the bowl. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, that's kind of fancy. Lock. Yeah. All the way up. nice, yep. And, and then, then when you're mixing bread, you never wanna go high speed. So you okay. could do one to two notches max. That's fine. That's fine. So if you over mix it, you're kind of over kneading and then it just makes for a worse texture. Okay, we turned it off because we need to talk about what we're actually looking for when we're mixing this up. Yeah, so basically what we're looking for is we don't want to see any dry flour mm -hmm. um, and we don't want it to look soupy. Okay. So it's kind of this in between where if you grab a chunk of dough, you could stretch it and it shouldn't break right away. A little um, gluten action. Yeah, a little gluten, a little action, gluten action, exactly. <laughs> and then, so we actually turned it off, and that's actually another good thing. Like every minute, if you turn it off and let it kind of re-grab itself, then turn it on again, it seems to mix And better. what's the average time you're gonna have to start, stop, start, stop until you're done? Um, ideally, it should be like four minutes max. Okay. Of like Otherwise you're mixing. going too far. Yeah. Okay, cool, well let's do it. Okay, the moment of truth is here. Let's lower our bowl and do a bit of a, a stretch test here, so. If we take a look. That looks good. That looks, what do you think? I think that's good. That seems pretty good. Let's do a little, a little quick taste. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a gummy. 
It's very chewy. Yeah, this is honestly like the most glutinous licking bread I've ever This seen. is gluten full, my friends. It's not gluten free. <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, let's get into a bowl. As per my bread brother's suggestion, I'm just throwing a little EVOO in here. Actually, it's really cool just being in the Epic Gardening community, I guess, because this avo also came from my friend Rachel. And so most of the ingredients are either homegrown or from friends of ours. I think we're just putting this down here so the dough doesn't stick, right, Jacques? Yep, exactly. Yeah. Cool, so I'm just gonna try to go up about halfway or so. It really is stretchy, I'll tell you what. It's a solid piece of dough. Yeah, if I was an expert, I'd probably do something to you ready? Guys, but let's do it. <laughs> That's like a cannonball. Okay, so am I just letting it, am I trying to shape it at this point or am I just kind of letting it chill? You could kind of form it into a little round okay. and then get some oil all over it. Oh, okay. Just like a little bit. Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Oops, drizzled. <laughs> a little extra flavor. A little extra. So should I, yeah, maybe I'll shape it like this first. Yeah, you don't have to mess with it too much. And then we're gonna basically put it in that bowl and- Do these like creases matter? Not at this stage. Not at this stage, okay. Yeah. All right, now I wanna give it that smack again. <laughs> that's, that's heavy. That's solid. That's heavy. Okay, I got a little round here. Next phase. Uh, so you're gonna get a, a towel and just get it damp. Okay. And throw it over the bowl so it's covered. Okay. We're just trying to lock the humidity in basically. Okay, got it. All right. And final step is a little gardener trick here. Oh, this is the trick that Jacques may have come up with, may have not, we'll see. <laughs> but basically it's a seedling heat mat. You can grab off Amazon or, or whatever. We use it all the time in our gardens for starting seeds indoors, especially in the winter. But why, are, why am I placing this on here for about three hours for this first rise? It's just too cold in the ambient air right now. Yeah. Now we're into our true winter here. Sure, so, our winter. <laughs> <laughs> so basically this is gonna just kind of keep the dough warm yeah. enough so okay. that the yeast can be happy and rise. All so right, so we'll see there. you guys back in three hours. It has been three hours. Let's see what this looks like. Hopefully it's something good. The reveal. It there definitely it looks like a wheat dough. I'll tell you that. What are your thoughts, Jock? He's behind the camera right now. So I've seen my dough like that sometimes. <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah. It just sometimes it takes a little slower on the first rise. Yeah. So hopefully after this point, it's going to like poof up a I lot. I really hope start so. Start getting air bubbles. So what, what we're doing now is I'm just grabbing the edges and bringing them into the middle to kind of fold them, right? Yep. That's the idea here. Yeah. So this is kind of almost the need, um, but basically it's just kind of introducing some stretch to the gluten. Stretch and like, is it introducing like perhaps like more oxygen into the, yeah, the mix or something? Yeah, and or? the other important thing is that since it's on a heating pad, it's also distributing that heat. Oh, true, because it is You can probably feel it. Yeah, it's dramatically yeah. colder in the middle, yeah. So yeah. So how often, how, how much am I doing? Not too much more? Um, yeah, I think if you go like that, I could show you another way. Yeah, yeah, hop in. Uh, so that's the general, is you just kind of pull up a side and fold it in. Yeah. And other times I like to do this, where I'll kind of introduce some stretch to it. Yeah. So you could see it's starting to like tear a little bit. That's starting to look good. But that looks pretty good right there, honestly. What is that called? Like a little, little dough round? <laughs> yeah, a bowl? Yeah, a bowl, right? Bowl? So. Let me feel that. Oh! That sounds good, honestly. He, he's getting a little aggressive. <laughs> a little. <laughs> I gotta say, that's really satisfying. Yeah. So that looks really nice, actually. That looks really um, good. So if you just set it down just, just like that. Just set it right there. Yep. Oh, that's aesthetic. It is that's pretty aesthetic. aesthetic. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you are a bread expert, please comment everything we're doing wrong because we <laughs> yeah. are doing some stuff wrong. And I know you guys are probably enraged right now, slapping our bread, all this sort of stuff. So comment. We'll see you back in two more hours, I think, right? Yep. Two more hours. All right, it's been another two hours. And the moment of truth is here. Look at that. So we're looking for a kind of sponginess to it that I think we're getting here. I'm gonna summon the garden hermit to give us the next step. Okay, so we still have some of the flour that we ground earlier and we, the next step is just to sort of flour the surface? Yep, I'm just okay. gonna flour the whole board. The whole thing? Yeah, like, and like with you could be much. pretty generous. Yeah. Um, it's weird to, it's, now that you've grown it, it's weird <laughs> to like, just use it for this purpose, you know? You're like, ooh, I don't know if I could spare it. We just remember threshing all that weed <laughs> and grinding it and winnowing it and all that. That's what we're here for. Okay, so this is fine, you think? Yeah, I think so. Is that fine? Okay, next so, step. So, remember like 
last time I picked it up. Yeah. And I kind of folded it into itself. Yeah, like this. You yeah. went like that. Yeah. So do that. Again. Yeah. Before I put it down? Yeah. Okay. Kind of okay. grab it, form a little ball. Oh, it's like sticky at the bottom now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Is that so that's why we bad? put the flower. That's fine. Yeah. Um, it's not that sticky. There's no, okay. It's barely coming any. together. Yeah. Oh, it's scared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little, a little debris. Right. Okay, we're gonna need this. Or no. no, we're good. So, okay, so before I put it down, I'm gonna. So give you don't want to do of... too much work on it. Yeah. But you want to form it into a nice bowl. Bowl. So, so now, like something like that is pretty good. Yeah, it'll it's kind better. of grab itself. Yeah. So now if you put that guy down. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Oh, then, that does that look, look good. That looks really good. So the problem here that could happen is if you overwork at this stage, you yeah. could rip it. Yeah. And then it's hard to recover. Okay. So now what I would do is take a little more flour. Okay. Um, and sprinkle it on the top. Nice. And actually, I feel like I need to get a feel for this. You need. You want to. You want to like. You want to work the bread. I just All right, go for get it. Get a feel for what it seems like. Oh yeah. Okay. So that, that feels, feels good. Healthy to me. Yeah. So. Oftentimes people will shape it on the board like this, yeah. where they like pinch it. Give it a nice round. Yeah, but honestly, I think you did a good job. <laughs> All right, the moment of truth is here, the scoring. So I have this little safety razor that Jacques brought over. And high tech. It's high tech. Jacques has been cautioning me not to go big. It's called Epic Homesteading, guys. <laughs> we do go big. Now I'm gonna try a square on the top, and I'm gonna try to do like a little wheat in the middle. So let's, it's pretty advanced. Let's see how we go. So I'm gonna try I the go wheat. Basic. I'm trying to, the wheat first. <laughs> okay, that's a little wheat, right? I, that looks pretty good. It's, it's okay. Yeah. It's... Now I did do a little light research, <laughs> and the key on this particular score apparently is uh, to get some scissors and cut match right there. Mm. I've never made one this fancy. Yeah. I just do a, like a line straight like a rounded line down the middle and then some like little leaflets. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna <laughs> it looks put, good. We're gonna put a little bit of this in. All right, now, this, now you're just No, this is the soil. This is the, no, this is the soil. Okay. This is the wheat's coming out of the soil. Oh, uh, okay. It's called growth. It looks pretty good. You honestly, honestly off camera, like, was, he was a doubter. A little bit. He was a doubting Thomas. But now, now that I'm seeing it live, yeah. like I understand. Honestly, I'm ready. So here's what our baby looks like, our homegrown wheat baby, before it goes in the oven. All right, oven gloves are on. One of the best purchases I've ever made in my life. If you've ever burned yourself in an oven, you know why. We have preheated a Dutch oven here. So all we're doing here, Jacques, is we're just gonna be dropping in our lovely loaf, Yep. right? Just like just that. Like That's that. okay if the paper sticks out. Okay, and then we're covering. Yep. And we're going back in for 20 minutes. And then we're gonna uncover for the, the yeah. remainder of the 20. Exactly. Okay, we'll see you guys in 20 minutes. Oh! Oh, I'm excited. 20 minutes have passed, my friends. Let us take a look really quick. I'm actually gonna try to pull this out so we get a good peek at this. All right. This is the Let's moment. See. This is the moment. Oh! Oh! Dang. Hey. That's fantastic. That's actually pretty good. That's a really good rise. Okay. All right. So back in for 20? We're good, yeah. Okay, all right. That's amazing. What do you think of that cut? Eh, it's not bad. It's not bad. The, the, the square's a little bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's been another 15 minutes. Look at what we have here, my friends. Look at that homegrown loaf. It looks really good. That actually looks really good. So Jacques is telling me we have to do something called a knock test. There you go. Okay. Oh! That looks... Hold on. Probably a sacrilege right there, but I need to knock it somehow. Okay, so we're gonna knock it? Yep. We're looking for a hard knock. Like a hollow should sound dry. <laughs> I think? That's, that burned I... my knuckles, but that sounds dry. I think that actually sounds good. Okay. Let's let it cool. Yeah. So here's the loaf, my friends. Look at that. Give it a little twirl. Oh yeah. The bottom looks really good. Bottom Sometimes that quality. gets weird. And then that wheat pattern. Honestly, it's it looks more passable. like a corn. Yeah. But I'm okay with it. But it looks great. So we're letting this sit for about 10 more minutes. We're back out where it all started, my friends. <laughs> the wheat was grown right over there. Most of it, 50%, 55%, let's say, is in this loaf. It's time to cut this boy open. Okay? I think it's gonna be really good. Let's zoom in. Okay, I don't expect this bread to last long, so I am gonna go <laughs> right down the middle here. 
Let's hope we don't have something embarrassing. I don't have a serrated knife, so. Ooh. I'm, I'm feeling good. It felt good going through. Let's try to get that crust. Yeah. I think we got it. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Oh! <laughs> It might be a little wet in the middle, huh? A little bit. It's a little wet. Let's see. It could be just because it's fresh, too. Could, it's fresh. Well, some of it is a drag. You know what? It's a little undercooked in the middle. But honestly, for the first time, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm yeah. going to get in there. Yeah. So, right here. Smell test. I'll, go, I'll do my half. Ooh, that's, <laughs> that's intoxicating. It's right intoxicating. There. It makes me want it. <laughs> <laughs> you, better, you better calm down. Guys, Jacques's been getting a little too, a little too trigger happy over here. A little, a little bit. So, man, we are breaking so many probably fundamental principles yeah. of, of dealing with bread in this video. But probably should have let it sit for another ten. But I'll tell you this: it's hard. It's called "Who Cares." You don't have to do it perfect the first time. You have to have fun and enjoy the experience and improve after you have fun and get hooked. And I'm hooked. And so I've cut I you off. I could feel it. I could, I could sense a change within him. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think oh, he's yeah. gonna be baking some bread. Oh yeah, you know, you might you might see me in an apron very soon. So look at I got the sea salted butter. You know what? Why don't we share a slice? Why don't yeah, we break some do bread? It. Why don't we break some bread together? There you go. There you go. Ooh, that, so you, look you at even that. got the you got the better slice. Look at that. That just feels good. Oh, like a it's slinky. Like dancing. That's <laughs> it's dancing in the light. <laughs> it's dancing right as the sun sets. Okay. I could eat straight butter, just so you know. So yeah, it's I've a little seen dangerous. I've seen him consume things before. It's not very fun to watch. That's real nice. so satisfying. It's melting real nice. It's a nice. hot loaf like that. Yeah, it's dangerous. Well, what's better dangerous. than a hot loaf? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see. All right, little, little, loosen the shoulders. Yeah, a little neck pop. I think you might need to, you know, like mentally prepare for what I'm, you're about to. I'm drink. like getting psyched right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really trying. So I've never had fresh milled wheat bread yeah so this is totally a new experience i've never me. done anything i've done today so <laughs> just straight first time the whole baking. thing and I, and I really worked the butter in yeah i'm kind of just bon going appetit. For it. yo oh legitimately that's top notch you see him in an apron at the farmer's market? Mm. You see that loaf in front of him? Bon appetit, You're going to give him 10 bucks. You're going <laughs> <laughs> to give me 10 bucks for this artisanal bread next time you see me. Mm. Wow. Wow, it's Legitimately actually... Legitimately delicious. It's actually really good. Now, what are you getting, notes-wise? <laughs> Picking up some wheat. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the beauty. A little bit of butter. I feel like it's just chewy. It's warm. It's... It's got good like bubbles in mm -hmm. it, like pockets, I guess, is the term. So here's the thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, they like flex on their bread yeah. with these giant bubbles. Yeah. I'm not here for that. No. How are you going to put butter on a giant bubble? You can't yeah. do it. So this oh, is man. perfection. How many bread baking experts are we triggering in this video? So many. So many. But here's the deal. So we thought it was raw, but it's not. It's, it's like, actually this not is raw. actually, we just cut it too early. Well, look, because it's done now. <laughs> yeah. Like this we is just, not raw. We just cut it too early because we got impatient. This is like you could tell when you're you eating what, it. It's you know perfect. what vibe I get from this? I'm mm. on a fifteen hundred to seventeen hundred ship, and this is what I took with me. <laughs> That's kind of the vibe. <laughs> That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Like a hawk of bread. You know? I mean, the vibe I'm getting is, I just got to the king's table. <laughs> <laughs> the king's baker just brought this bread, yeah. and I'm like, I'm never gonna eat this again. Mm. It's too good. You sure you're not like, um, in that scene, you're not the jester? I, I mean, I am, <laughs> but sometimes the jester gets a little slice. The jester, <laughs> you're coming up afterwards, and you're like, please, please, man, the scraps. All right, guys. Honestly amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is kind of an odd, oddball video. <laughs> I wanna do more cooking on the channel. Um, I'm learning, as I always am in gardening and in life, and also in this homesteading side of things, Right along with you guys, Jacques, you're 10 loaves deep. I'm one loaf deep now, right? And so neither of us are experts. We've said it a million times. Yep. Hopefully we can bring you some interesting perspectives, like growing the wheat and milling it to make bread. It's a little different, right? Absolutely. It's just something to try out. And, and I think next year, we're gonna have way more wheat. We're gonna make some year. serious bread. I'm about to make some serious bread though. Like, yeah. And maybe we will become elitist at that point in time. So <laughs> until next time, guys, good luck in the garden and keep on grinding. Honestly. Dude, this is really good. Really good. good.